Okay, so um, basically today is going to be a bit of a weird vlog. Don't know what I just did for the intro there, but um, I'm going to be getting the bike today. I'm going to be unboxing it because you guys really enjoyed the last one. And uh, I want to thank you guys for that. It's over a thousand views. Something like that is nearly 2,000 views, I think. So I want to thank you guys very much for the amazing comments, likes, um, the views on that video. So we're going to be doing another unboxing video of the bike. You guys loved it, as I said, for the last BMX. I'm going to be unboxing and putting together this next one. It's not going to be like the last one. It's going to be as long. I'm not going to be talking as much. I'm going to be unboxing it, showing you. I'm not going to be riding it today because it is raining. But, yeah, ignore the mess of my room, by the way. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, we're going to wait for the bike to get here. Still not here. And it is 1 o'clock, exactly. And, um, yeah, so let's do this. Plus, I've got my grandparents here at the moment it's just my grandpa my gran and my mom have gone out so i don't vlog in front of people very much so probably won't be speaking too much <laughs> but um yeah let's go bit of auto glass fixing up the old windshield uh today's just waiting look how rainy it is waiting for my damn bike to appear any second now maybe ups any second now so let me explain to you guys why i haven't been uploading recently real quick one um, my graphics card down on my PC not long ago, you guys probably know, so I haven't been able to edit videos very well. Two, I've been doing a lot of the stuff outside of gaming, such as work, when I do work, but it's not the biggest thing. And then I've also been going out my BMX, it's a new hobby on my bikes. Um, just really living my life and stuff, trying to enjoy getting out into the world and doing stuff. So, by the way, this is second day hair, this is bed hair. <laughs> it's kind of messy, but it's spiked up, so I'm going with it, so... Yeah, back to the waiting. They got to Nottingham 10 hours ago. I'm 45 minutes away from Nottingham. You do the math. The new ride is here. There's the logo. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. Farewell, buddy. See, that's a 20 inch frame, 20.4. This is, I can get it, a 21 inch. So. I'm gonna unbox this right now. I'm just gonna get straight into it. There we go. Okay, right. We're in. There's the bike. I'm gonna get the seat out. We're gonna look at the seat because it actually has the MB on it. Oh my god. There is one thing I wanna check, and that's on the pictures. It ties up there. Pink writing on. No way it does. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, actually, it's pink. I don't know well that's showing, but it's pink. I mean, that's what it normally looks like on my other one. Um, it's kind of muddy now. You can barely even see it. It's like white. And here, pink. <laughs> Imagine my skin color. I like it though. I'm happy with that, I'm not bothered. Uh, it's got three, three, three piece cranks, I need to change sprocket on it I think. I think it comes with a default sprocket and that thing is a piece of crap. Always recommend getting an aftermarket sprocket on these things, hit me. Wait, is this matte black or is it just... <gasps> oh, this is like a glossed black so it's got shine. This is matte black, the original colour I wanted my BMX to be. I was going to spray paint it, like etch it down, primer it and get my own design on it. But oh my god. I can't wait to get this bad boy out. I'm not going to do it just now, I'll do it later because me and my grandpa are going to head up somewhere. Can't say where. Um, we've got two places. We're going to head up to the first place, can't say where, and then we're going to go play some snooker um, for a bit until my mum and grand come home. I am really happy with this. We're going to put the seat back. Alright, seat back. 
But I am selling this one currently, 150 quid for this, mainly because it comes with Hitman grips, which it shouldn't have done. Um, and then it's almost a brand new bike, it just needs cleaning up and a bit of paintwork renew, which I can do easy. But apart from that, it's a dial brand new bike, it's barely been used. Get it out and build. Wow. Look at them grips. That's incredible. You can see the old bike in the background. Sad. This one shouldn't take as long for me to build now that I know what I'm doing. There's the front wheel. Are you ready? Oh, I've got to, I've got to show you guys this. Ready for the grand reveal. I'm trying to be quiet because it's quite late at night and there are people are in bed. So I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying to speed build it as well because of obviously the lateness and I've got work tomorrow. I won't be able to ride it because it's obviously it's late. I won't be able to ride it tomorrow. So when I get home, when I, well, I'm going to work. Unless I get up early, which I don't want to. That's kind of reason why I'm doing this now. So I have to get up early for work. Make sure you put your pedals on the right way. You got your right, you got your left. Yeah, you because know, they got the stickers on. Make sure you put them on the right side. Also, use this. This is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to build a bike as well. What do you wanna do? Get your pedal. Make sure you don't ruin the floor. You ruin the floor and you live with your parents. You're gonna die if you ruin it. Just saying. So what you wanna do is get the end pedal here. You put a grease on. Just gonna rub it around. You wanna get a decent amount on that. Want it greased up. Never put pedals on without greasing them up. Obviously, this is the left side, so you put it on the left. For the sake of this video, I will just use this. It makes your pedals are on tight as well. You don't want it to spin off. <laughs> don't worry if you put too much on as well, because obviously, as you're screwing it in, it will squeeze some out of the edge and then you just rub it off with a thingy. Uh, only the right amount will go in there by itself by default. Also another thing, I have a specialized sprocket, I have an aftermarket sprocket on that one, so I'm going to take that one off, that one, put it on here, take this one, put it on there, sell that, because these sprockets, I'm just going to say out now, my free bikes, so you sell out, your default sprockets bend in seconds. I think I'm not even a good enough rider to bend them that quick, they just bend. <laughs> Alright, it's time to get the handlebars on. All right, so, so far it's looking pretty good. What I've got to do is put the front wheel on, sort out the brakes, sort out the handlebar the situation. I think the cranks are in line, but for tonight I'm just gonna build it as it is. I'm gonna build it, try and prop it up there, and I think I'll ride it, and then put the new sprocket on, or maybe I'll put that one on first so I don't have to wear this one out before someone gets it, in case it bends. Because I'll show you what happens when you keep the default sprocket on. 
It's not the biggest bend, but it did make a difference. So hard to see. But you can hear it, you can kind of see it faintly moving. But um, yeah, you get one of these, take it off, spend the extra money on a proper sprocket, and yeah, awesome shoes. But yeah, get yourself a proper sprocket, not one of them. These, they're trash. Sorry, Murphy bikes, but seriously, they bend so easy. All right, wheel time. When you're doing these, the little washer has like a little hook that has to go into this hole. So you make sure the washer's hooked up into there before you tighten it. Same on the other side. Can't wait to get out and ride it at some point. We haven't had very good weather though. There's no indoor skate park nearby. If you're thinking of opening up an indoor skate park, open one up in a village called Warsaw. Please, <laughs> I'm begging you. With a foam pit as well, make a good indoor skate park. And then you rearrange the reel. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Drop it, come on, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> right, it looks like I'm done. All I want to do now is because the brake is so far under, I like the brake to be forward a bit. So, I think these anarchy keys fit. So you want to get a separate anarchy, key, they don't give you one for that setting. There we go. The only reason I'm doing this is because Brakes are angled a bit weird. I don't know, my brakes angled directly down. So I'll angle them up a bit. There we go. You just angle them where you want them. I like mine up a bit. Right about there, really. Yep. More personal preference again, based on the size of your hand. There you go. A little bit of a squeeze <laughs> on the brakes. All right, so at the end, there's the pink tires. So all you want to do is really check the bolts that they did at the factory. So you want to check them. Uh, if you have these, or these are a three-piece crank. The ones on there are one-piece crank. To get them off and change the sprocket, and everything you're going to need a 32 mil spanner, which I have. So if you're getting these Christmas or any time in the future, or if anyone's getting them, make sure you get a 32 mil spanner. But if you're getting this type of BMX, it's a three-piece crank, so it's just Allen keys. Take that out, take that out, take the bar out, maybe. I think. <laughs> I haven't done a three-piece crank yet, so it's a learning curve, something new for me to enjoy when I put the new sprocket on. One thing though, one thing. You ready for this? To make it official. There we go. <laughs> yes. One thing I was saying about earlier is, um, as you can see here, like a hole. And this came like that, there's nothing for it. Whereas if you look at my other one, hang on. It's covered. So... Thought that would happen. Look at this. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect fit. Two bikes on a treadmill. That's how you measure a treadmill. This treadmill is two bike width. <laughs> right, I am really happy with the way that BMX turned out. So if you guys want to subscribe, make sure you do that. If you found this video helpful, then thank you for finding it helpful, I guess. And leave a like on the video, share the video, spread the word, and um more videos of me out on that bike. Uh, I want to get a GoPro or something like that, something cool. I do have a camera for a harness, but I need to fix my PC because SD cards don't work well on my PC at the moment. The video files corrupt and they're so hard to edit. So I need to get my PC fixed, which is, 
I have no idea how long that's going to be because it is an expensive fix for a graphics card. So, yeah. <laughs> so, NVIDIA, if you want to hook me up, hook me up with a graphics card, please. But back to bikes. The bike's done. It is so much lower <laughs> than the other one. Yeah, you guys will see my first ride on it. I'll put the skate park and BMX track. I'll be doing a lot more on the BMX track. Bigger jumps. <laughs> But um, skate park, I'm definitely going to be taking this too. And, uh, apparently it's easier to learn how to tail whip and do flips on so because of the geometry of the bike. So I can't wait for that. Uh, I've had a lot of positive feedback with you guys asking me if the Kush 2 was good, would I recommend it, how it's going. Um, that you guys, you're also saying that you were getting a Kush 2 yourself. Um, I've been posting on Instagram about it, people have been contacting me on Instagram about the bike, even people have been like, contacting me about the Mad Main. So if you want to go to my Instagram, you will see that the other bike's for sale. Like I said, comment down below if you live in England and you are willing to travel to come pick it up. It's £150 because it's barely used, it's good quality, it's been serviced and it comes with hit main grips. So it's £150, it's as low as I'm willing to go at the moment. Um, they are more expensive on the site, obviously. Uh, so like I said, it's just going to have the default sprocket on. So if you want to get another sprocket, uh, the uh, aftermarket one, because there's no way I'm giving that away. I need it for my new one. But um, there will be a brand new default sprocket put onto it from the Hit Main or the Mad Main. But um, it just looks so demonic over there. If it was red, or like if it was black with red, but it's kind of like monster energy colors as well, so it looks cool. But um, one day I will have the Mad Main or the Neo Main. I kind of like the green fuel or the purple fuel. I feel like I go for the purple fuel out of both of them. But the Neo Main looks cool as well, so I can mix of both. But uh, yeah, so subscribe, like, hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below about your Mad Mains or Kush 2s or any Mafia bikes or any BMX. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and leave a like, like I said. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.